Congratulations! You only started stream... Five. Minutes late! Time to get started! Hello everyone. We are less late than we usually are. <laughs> I definitely am just naturally a night owl. So I always have to skip some parts of my morning routine to make sure I'm making it to stream on time. Sorry if I was a little loud there at the beginning. Yeah, I am an actual owl, so you all should be appreciative that I am even up in the morning. Appreciate me. <laughs> before hmm sippy before we get started good morning oh haha right I forgot I have that as set up uh, of talking with friends I need to go fix that real quick how are you all doing today remember chat thinks loud is funny <laughs> I just heard screaming the entire t Actually, you know what? Th there's that XQC clip, right? Of of the screaming. Like, oh, am I kind of loud? <laughs> Unholy owl screeches. Yeah, that's basically this entire stream, right? Oh, Deadwing Dork now owns the, the K's cooking channel. Well, <laughs> today is going to be um, a best hits. We're going to sort by most watched. And also, of course, we need to see if she has any bean recipes. I'm hoping so, so that we can fill up the bonus bean room as is necessary. Already, subs, I... You all, you all are so supportive. It's like, oh, you haven't, like, th the stream's barely started. There's no content. Bam. So, <laughs> for existing. No, thank you. For three months, newcomer. They say, are we going to get bonus bean recipes in this stream? It's, we're going to find out because I I'm not that familiar with Kay's cooking. I, I know a couple of the best hits, but I am not super well acquainted. My understanding from what we've seen is that she like sees recipes done by other people and then just without trying them before emulates them or tries to emulate them. I was in uh, Deadwing Dork server. God, right, I forgot about that. No, I I left because I think it was a bit chaotic for me. Um, I already don't participate in, like, Discord servers at all. I have a ton of them. Uh, but I just never participate in any of them because I'm, I'm always too busy with my own stuff. It's, a, it's always a bit overwhelming for me. Star Shard with a hundred bits I saw trying to get the hype train going and there it is scam train hold on uh is there oh I need to set up a hotkey if I'm going to just toggle a a thing on hold on uh let me let me just hold on I can I can I can do this come on with it Come on, thank you. And I do I do the here we go. Bonk. Uh wait, that's a new No, not a new item. I just wanna I just wanna All I wanna do is hat. All I wanna do is hat. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Haha. -ha. And then put that. And now I am the cap i am i am the conductor for the scam train oh fuck uh immersion broken gg <laughs> choo choo everyone hop aboard <laughs> Pro 
Promfessional streamer. I... <laughs> yeah, immersion broken. Is... I... Th yeah, owls don't wear hats. Just like plumbers don't wear ties. <laughs> oh my god. What if... Okay. One of these streams, I'm, um... I'm going to have to do all the digital homicide games and just get that train going. Who the fuck is messaging me? <laughs> Overstimulation. Hydro Desernus. Gifting out a sub to all of you people. You. Being nice to my chat? That's illegal. <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub. And a different Dan gifted a sub to Twinkmaster69. <laughs> to all of you, I say. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. The fanfare is just so good. What do you mean there's a remastered version of Plumbers Don't Wear Ties coming to the Switch? What? I, I understand that the Switch store is a little bit less... What? Intense? Then, like, some of the other store- Ah, uh, what am I- What am I talking about? There's shovelware on all of the online stores of Nintendo. They just couldn't pass up. They couldn't pass up the opportunity to make that extra little bit of dosh. Regular TV! With a fresh Prime sub. Thank you so much, and hey. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Uh, that sounds weird. That sounds weird with the music going on in the background. I have to make sure to pause the music. I wish that I had, like... Can I set a hotkey to pause the music? That would be sick. Uh... Preferences. Uh... No. Okay. I, I saw a friend found a better streaming platform than uh, Spotify, and I'm going to talk with her about it. She was saying that it's, like, really good, and not Spotify. <laughs> Dr. Spamma, thank you so much for the sub as well, and look what I'm going to do. Pause the music, and... It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Yeah, professional streamer. <laughs> Thing that auto pauses the music when you play a sound. Yeah, it's true. I could do it. That would be pretty sick. It's a limited run games production. What do you mean? Uh, like limited run? I, I imagine limited run games is the name of the company. Uh, but who are they? I'm not familiar with them. <sighs> I. Before we get started on the topic, I, I wanted- wait a minute, there was something- I remember I woke up and I saw a thing and I was like, I need to show this a stream. So, we're gonna do that first. It's a 13 for, first there's this 13 second video, don't- don't worry about it. This is when you forget- when you forgot what mods you added. Uh, and I thought- I thought you all would appreciate this. Choo choo. Just, you know, oh right, I installed the Pickle Rick mod. <laughs> I saw that get shared. I was like, okay, yeah. Oh, you got it recommended to you. Yeah, I, I actually, I think this, this one was recommended to me. Funniest shit I ever seen. No, that that literally is what it is. We, we've cycled all the way back around to Pickle Rick unironically being the, the funniest shit we've ever seen. <laughs> Kotaku headline, I wish Kirby still kissed his homies. <laughs> I saw an edit of The Slap that was like Will Smith walking up and then that meme of um of like the two dudes kissing and then just the walk away. <laughs> 
Newcomer, you didn't know about the froggy emote? Are you kidding me? Are there people in chat with a subscription who don't know where the froggy emote comes from? Oh, this song fucking slaps. I don't think I'm going to play froggy song this time, but that's amazing. Oh, this song is like probably the best song in the game. Just by the way, all of this music, um, we're we're not going to keep playing Sunshine Heavy Industries music, but Sunshine Heavy Industries is absolutely a, oh, it's a delightful little puzzle game that I would highly recommend and is very amusing. It includes a rat holding a um, holding a potato potato peeler like a gun. I just I just got to that point. It's good. <laughs> it's a good game. Oh, I I mentioned it before on stream. Oh, uh, hype train is done, so we can we can take off the hat. Hold on, I'll just I'll just bonk. Haha, immersion unbroken. <laughs> No, I, I never play AAA games anymore. Um, the, the only AAA games I play anymore are um, a couple of Total War games and Stellaris. But after that, like, it's nothing but indie games. There's just... The AAA market is so... It's so... Homogenous? Like... Open world games, absolutely. I, I don't know what sort of brain rot it gave every, like, every single game studio, but it just rotted all of them. Also, Dr. Spam, I don't think that we invited you properly. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. I'm, I'm sick of the fucking cookie cutter designed by committee focus grouped fucking games oh that reminds me there is a game that we absolutely are going to be playing on stream soon did i where did i put it hold on where did i put it uh got it Okay, so there, there's a game that we absolutely are going to be playing. It hasn't gotten a whole lot of attention, which is a little sad. You looked at Sunshine Heavy Industries and it looks so cute. What the heck? Right? It's so cute. It's, it's fantastic. It's very cute. It's also like, it's one of those puzzle games that lets you take it as hard as you want to. Oh, fuck. I said it again. Uh, that literally is how I described Sunshine Heavy Industries last time. But basically, like, there are degrees of victory and you decide, okay, like, am I going to go for aesthetic? Um, and depending on how well you do it, you get a certain amount of money. Um, and, and it basically you're given a budget and you have to meet the specifications as cheaply as possible. And that's the goal. And then any extra is profit. But right, this, this game that I wanted to play is really cute. Uh, check this out. Bonk. You'll see why in a moment. Pico. This game is called Pico. P-E-K-O-E. -E. You run a tea house. See? Yeah, you make you make tea for cats. Yeah. And then here there, there's there's a little uh gameplay trailer, but well I I think that we'll we'll take a stream or two to play this. Please show Rev this. Why? Uh what, do you think Rev would be into this? 
Contact the devs to see about a cameo. Oh, yeah. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, I might do that. Oh, Rev has kittens. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but look at this. This is like a me game. Hi, everyone. My name is Saffron, and I'm the creative director at Kitten Cup Studio. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm the lead programmer. And today, we're going to introduce you to... I don't know what's going on with the crunchiness of his mic, but Justin sounds like he is an AI. ...to our game about tea making for cats, Pico. So, in this gameplay video, we'll be introducing ourselves to Min, who will teach us how to make blooming tea. Oh, she is. She's so cute. <laughs> Min is an elderly cat living in Pico who runs her tea house with the help of her grand goddaughter, Pongcha. See, you were, you were making comparisons to Animal Crossing, but I hear this character's voice and I immediately think of Banjo-Kazooie. Ow, 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 ow. She also mentions Chewon, the previous owner of your tea house, whose story you'll uncover as you play through the game. No, Twink Master, I swear to God, it's not his monotone. It's not his monotone. It's, it, it was like the crunchiness of his mic. Now that we've introduced ourselves and Min, let's make some tea. So, in this tutorial, Min is going to walk us through the basics of making blooming tea, which is her specialty. Uh, cats can teach the player new styles and recipes for making tea, which they can then use in their own tea shop or on their own. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> What you're seeing here is one of the starter tea sets, the cute tea set, and it's one of the many tea sets you'll be able to use to make tea in this game. I really like this tea set. <laughs> He's just very cute. What if this game's story ends up getting unexpectedly dark? My, so, um... My immediate thought is that, um, well, this was featured on Wholesome Games, and um, Wholesome Games oftentimes, like, there, there's almost this running theme in Wholesome Games, uh, or the games that they are that are featured there, where, like, it's not necessarily that they're dark, but they do have, like, um, adult themes sometimes. Not By adult themes, I don't mean violence or gore or, or things like that. More like... Um, dealing with you know real life issues it, it seems like you know this character might have lost a loved one um sometimes a little melancholy but yeah i th that that is possible there's sort of an implication there's an implication that's kind of what's coming inspirations uh for pico is uh, anime so our glass teapot also looks a little bit anime like as well and as you can see when you pick up and move objects around uh, they'll have a little bit of a squash and stretch to them as well so that they feel a little bit more fun jelly teapot you can see that the water is boiled and ready to go uh so you can go ahead and pour the water in the glass teapot is a really good fit for this type of tea because you can see the blooming happening inside of it. I think um, what appeals to me about this game is the focus on the process of making tea, which which for me is kind of, um, it's a nice ritual for me. Now the that music we're done, we can present our tea to Min and see what she thinks. And it looks like she likes it. Yay! And uh, that's the end of our tea tutorial with Min. Look forward to hearing more about our development through our Twitter, newsletter, or our Discord, which is up on the screen. And don't forget to wishlist Pico on Steam. Oh, I need to do that. But yeah, we'll probably be playing this game on stream once it releases because I'm shameless. <laughs> because I'm shameless and I just love tea. Literally, this stream is just, hey, what if we did this thing? That that sounds fun. I like I want to do that, so I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm really glad that I kind of just get to do whatever I want on these streams. Um 
I, I don't have to just focus on viewership. I can just kind of, you know, do whatever I feel like. Urban Phoenix with five months. Thank you so much. And they say, uh, the joyous time of the month where the, com uh, where the community comes closer together to hear the magic word whispered ever so softly in their ear. Come. Oh, that reminds me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where was it? Was it? Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hold on. Where? Where did I see it? Where did I see it? I... Vex... Vex sent it to me. So you know it's good. Um... It, it was a Jesus thing. It, it was it was a religious animation. You know what? Oh, oh, yes. I know where it is. I know where it is. I know where it is. Give me a second. Uh, big brain, big brain, big brain. Um, here we go. I do have to see Rev's kitties. Oh my gosh. I I had no idea that he got kitties. It, it, Come reminds me of Jesus. Yeah, of course. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Look, the, the I, I know that s some days these streams are like really well planned out. Other days it's just like, oh yeah, this dumb shit that I saw. You all have to see it. And I'm like freaking out. It's It's gotta be here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Found it! Found it, 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 found it. Okay, found it, found it. Can I? No, I watched. Oh, wait, no, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Sorry, I'm just... I know these streams are, like, so fucking like all over the place got it uh i fucking we need an entire stream just to watch shitty christian animations because i feel like the, it, it's its own world because it's all so derivative and not good i i think i've mentioned this on stream before but back in the day religious art used to mean the Sistine Chapel, Gothic architecture, like these incredible works of art. Uh, you know, the creation of Adam. Now we have this. Now I watched when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say <laughs> with a voice like thunder, Come! Oh, I need to send this to Mike. Hold on. Funny come man. Let me send this to funny come man. There we go. Okay. One more time. Now I watched when the lamb opened one of the seven seals. And I heard one of the four living creatures say with a voice like thunder. Come. Come. <laughs> I'm glad my Mother's Day message inspired you. Yeah, it's... <laughs> These are the important things. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm so sorry that I, I'm just like, oh yeah, we're going to do this thing on stream. And then it's just like, oh yeah, here's like, let me take three minutes to show you a 15 second clip. <laughs> And I, oh, you know what else I forgot? I forgot to tell everybody um, on Twitter. Cooking with K. And tweet. Boom. Quality stream. I'm... <laughs> I'm professional. Profes pro professional. 
Can I drink, uh, drop the link to the TikTok? I don't know the link to the TikTok. I have uh, a Tumblr link here for your general use in case you want to share it in your, um, in case you want to share it in your, your Discord servers. <sighs> oh, so another thing I wanted to mention. I'm, I'm very excited for um, the new Down the Rabbit Hole, partially because I'm going to get to talk about Losec. I think a lot of people forget that Losec even exists. They think like, oh, you have Empire Space and then you have Nullsec, right? Well, there are these people that live in the liminal space of EVE Online and Losec, who are basically there just to like fuck with other people. And it's so good. Um, it, it's... A fascinating existence and then they even um, will fight with one another there was low low sex yeah high sex low sex and null sex null bitches <sighs> but yes I I've been able to talk uh, with someone who is involved in low sec and and, and talk about it. Specifically, the interesting thing about the uh, about Losec is the pirates in the beginning of the game were all over in uh, Nullsec and they were just, you know, destroying ships and taking everything that they had. But then as the Nullsec Empire started to establish themselves, uh, the pirates got pushed out uh, and they, they couldn't really go into high security space, obviously, um, because then, then they get blapped by, um, by Concord, by the space police. But, uh, yeah, they actually have, like, a response time. <laughs> um, right. Sorry, shit posting. But that meant that the pirates basically had to move into, um, into low sec, into low security space, so they would get um, they they would get a wanted status, but the the police wouldn't actually come in and attack them immediately. Hmm. <sighs> hey, why don't we actually get started on our topic today? I think that sounds nice. How many of you are familiar with Cooking with K? I'm I'm not super familiar with Cooking with K. I just know some of the funny. This is going to be a best of. We're going to sort by most popular. So yeah, the the different spaghetti bolognese was the number one. But now we have like let, let's just take let's just take a little scroll through and take like let's let's take a look. So what do we have? I'm I'm going to move myself a little bit. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Well, let's scroll. We have lasagna. 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 Okay, so FYI, lasagna is the pasta. Lasagna is the dish. We have making a pizza, eggs benedict, what, oh, what is that? Are those onions? Are those like halves of onions? And hey, yeah, she got her plaque. I, I still haven't gotten my plaques. I need to get on that. I There was actually a really big problem because my YouTube channel was originally attached to my Google Plus account, which is dead now. Um, and so I couldn't get my plaque before they made the changes. I could have gotten my plaque before they got, they made the new plaque. So I'm a little bit salty that I didn't get my old style plaque. Um, but I, I, I still need to get my, my play buttons. I just, I don't get, <laughs> I don't give a shit. Well, why don't we check out 
Yeah, Google Plus. I look, I I didn't start down the rabbit hole with the intention of making it into a series. It just kind of ended up that way. Like I uploaded it to my Google Plus YouTube because I just needed somewhere to put it so that I could attach it to my resume. <laughs> Well, hey, are you all ready to learn how to make lasagna? K copyright struck Deadwing Dork. Well, good thing that we're on Twitch, right? People, I'm back. Wait, what the hell? That hang was part of the video. Like, look. It, it, the video just freezes for the first second and then starts playing. Why? What? Hi, people. I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing a lasagna. As you can see, I've got my pan. <laughs> the freezes. And uh, there's a new thing that's come out. Well, I, I believe it to be new. Um... I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you? What do you mean new? What? What? What do you mean? What do you mean spray on vegetable oil is new? <laughs> Guys, I found this new thing. It's spray on vegetable oil. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why that tickled my funny bones so badly. Oh, I, I, I don't know what was why that was just so funny. Just, I, you know, you know what I think is magical about cooking with Kay? Everything to her is new. Like, she, she, she sees a video of someone making a recipe and she's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, like, that's so exciting. I, like, and for her, it's like nobody has ever thought of it before. Like, she discovers vegetable oil, like cooking spray. She discovers cooking spray. And... She's like, oh, it's new. It's it, it's like I've never seen it before, so it's a completely new thing. I I appreciate it. What a, what a great what what a great like just outlook on life. Just excitement around every corner. But uh, I know a lot of people say you get mad when they hear that. So it's one spray. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! He's not even spraying. You need to prime the pump. I didn't manage to spray in it. So what I'm going to do now... Has this woman never, like, bathed with, like, soap from a, a pump bottle? Had she never used a pump bottle before? Now is I'm going to find out which... Alright, that's the ring. I'm going to put it on number three to start it off with. Um... That it... Is that really all of the cooking oil she's going to use to make, like, to, to fucking cook meat, I imagine? That's it? To be fair, I guess non-stick pans are kind of cruise control, but... What I'm going to do is I've got some... Oh! Mince meat here. And what I'm going to do is... Is I'm going to put it in the pan, take the paper off. <laughs> take the paper off. Off it. I'm going to break it up with my oofa doofa. With my, with, with my oofa doofa? And, oh, wait. And I've got some honey on. Does anyone else call it an oofa doofa? Is that a thing? 
Is that a thing? Does it... Okay, there, there are like three things that are immediately on my mind right now. First of all, oofa doofa. Second of all, what the fuck is a hunion? Third, is that meat brown? That's... It's not supposed to be like that. Like, I guess some maybe low quality? I am going to cut up. Yeah, oofa doofa might be like these might be channel memes. You're right. You're right, sweet Maddie. Yes, it's an onion. Right, as you can see, I've. Oh, she it. was she was holding it there for a transition. Out to skin off. And I've been told to put my knuckles. Oh, I don't. Oh my, oh, oh god, did you see how her finger got under the blade? <gasps> yeah. Wait. Uh, don't do that. So that's the honey on, cut up. I'm going to put it, as you can see, so I'm going to break it up. Well, it no blood yet. While the meat's doing. As you can see, I've added the honey on. I, Owlbear says, I hope that knife is not well sharpened. What do you think? <laughs> Bit of salt. Pepper. Hey, she's seasoning it. Mix that in. That... It... Is that it? Now, there's a mixture is that, of tomato is that it? sauce, tomato paste, tomato it, ketchup, and everything else. It... Wait. That I could get in. Hey. Is that... That's it? Some salt and pepper? Did she say ketchup? That I could get in. Mixture of tomato sauce, tomato paste, tomato ketchup, and everything. Tomato pee? Excuse me? Tomato paste, tomato ketchup, and everything else. And that everything else. <laughs> What do you mean, everything else? What do you mean, everything else? Wait, tomato sauce, to, to, tomato sauce, tomato paste, ketchup. What? And everything else. What do you mean, everything else? Also, should she be putting the sauce in there with the uncooked meat? You're a person in Northern England, so I don't understand her perfectly. Excuse me, please don't use the word England without uh, some, censor some censorship there. there Might offend someone. <laughs> that Mix that round. <laughs> Look, I understand that that maybe you're British, but you know some other people might not be okay with you using it uncensored. You know, <laughs> that's what good pussy sounds like. Shut up. <laughs> I do say hard, hard. It doesn't actually say hard. It says hard. Oh. Tomatoes. Should she? Should she be adding the sauce like to the raw meat? Mm. 
It's like I'm making a spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> I, f I feel like, okay, I, I want you all to make a bet. How many of her recipes are just tomatoes and meat? I'm going to put it, put the ring, because the ring's on full, as you can see underneath, I think. Meat on, on full? Over, on the really? Real? No, you don't want to. No, no. <laughs> Thank God we have that spritz of cooking spray. Yeah, exactly. Right, I'm gonna let it cook now a bit because the. God, the onions are like raw in it too. She didn't even like cook the onions first. Honey onions. I've got to. Honey onions again. And I'm gonna put a lid on it, and hopefully it should cook. All right. Right, as you can see now, I'm putting. I should have. <laughs> And she, and she's scooping the meat out with the spatula. Excuse me, her oofa doofa. Got to, I have got to, a wooden spoon. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yes, can you get me the wooden spoon out, please? <laughs> she's trying. Doesn't matter if. You're not sure. <laughs> I yeah. Look, she hasn't. It, look, it's. She didn't even mix the meat up. Look, if you're going to do like meat like this, if you're going to have ground beef, you gotta get your hands in there. Okay, you gotta just mix it up with your hands. Just a little bit more. But she didn't even got mix some it. juice in. Got some juice in there. Oh. Some juice. There you go. Yeah. There it now is. Now I'm going to have problems. Uh, what's that? What's that yellow? Is that from the ketchup? Well, it's it's oil. Because the it sheet. Looks, it looks sickly, right? The uh, sandwich. No. Lasagna sheets are too big. It looks wrong. So probably I'm thinking, what? Oh, what? Does this woman like not know how to cook breaking. pasta? <laughs> you took a bit of pan off me. Mistake. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Should have got a bigger dish. I should have gotten a squared or a rectangular dish. And I'm going to put some juice on the sheets. She's drizzling it on. Oh, that really does just look like ketchup. And some more. Hey, chat. What do you think the proportion to tomato sauce to ketchup is in this? Because this just looks like ketchup. Mince meat and honey onions and... Honey onions. Everything else that's in here. Is that... Ho hold on a second. Our, our resident... English person do they actually pronounce it onions up where they are up up where k is is that a thing Vinny will spontaneously combust if he watches this okay i know that it probably will never happen but if by some weird twist of fate i end up streaming with Vinny sometime Remind me to show him this. Oh, there's a pizza video. Right, we're going to be getting to a pizza video. We could break Vinny. We could absolutely, like, snap Vinny's mind like a twig. Mike would despise this? Yeah, he might. <laughs> Vinny, if you're watching, I'm down for a stream, man. 
it and some more sheets if I turn that ring off good so I'm putting another sheet on and the two that I broke up earlier A different, have I seen the video, a different bolognese? Actually, that's why we're watching Kay's cooking is because on my last stream, Kay's cooking came up and I showed it to, um, I, I showed it to Kirpe and I was like, oh, this would make a great stream. So that's what we're doing. Need new one. Real derf hours. <laughs> I feel like derf has become more integrated. She's doing her best with the round mm. Pam. But man, lasagna just does not work. Here. He's trying. And put some more juice on. Oh, Saint X file has been subbed for three months now. I, again, so bad with subs, but thank you very much. And they say, uh, T Owl Knife, I am ready to cook along. And Lumpy Ugg. On the other hand, is fresh. We've got some fresh, uh, quite a few fresh subs today. Everyone, could we give them uh, some beans? It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Thank you very much, you guys. Now, with this, this isn't one of these classic ones because I've checked the classic ones and the classic ones is white sauce but if, if you're not using a classic one you can use red sauce so I'm using red sauce a bit more meat yeah what do you mean classic thanks to the hundred bits salted caracal muda what in the fuck is that oh. crab <laughs> crab I would not put it past K to make a lasagna with crab meat. Actually, you know what? From what I've seen of K, she seems to just make normal classic dishes, except she, like, it's like an alien making food. You know why it feels like an alien making food? It's because she has watched a video of someone else making food, and now she's trying. It's like, it's like a documentary of an, of an alien culture. Oh, speaking of, uh, I might have brought this up on stream a little while ago, but there is a parody, um, a parody documentary, a mockumentary that uh, that seemed very amusing to me. So you know how you get documentaries going to Africa and um, looking at you know tribes that are um, a, a bit isolated and being and like taking footage of them and the narration treats them more like animals than humans <laughs> it's just like really dubious well um someone made a mockumentary turning that around where an african docu uh, documentary team goes to northern austria and starts to document the strange practices of the northern austrians that is just amazing it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> It's very based. It's hold on, let me <laughs> I'll I'll show a bit of it after this video. Um what's it called? Hold on. I I have it bookmarked for stream. Uh where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. It's called Hold on. I think I bookmarked it a little while ago, a long time ago. Uh, where is it? Oh, I must have bookmarked it on my laptop and never sent it. It's okay. I can find it. Here it is. Das Fest den Hunis. Here, well... <laughs> I get, I think like I, I was just skimming through it and it's goddamn hilarious. Look at this. So this scene is like this is the scene that I skipped to and I lost my mind. Here we go. There there there's English on the bottom. 
Trotz alledem möchte ich mich deshalb freilich nicht leicht der oft gehörten Behauptung anschließen, die europäischen Völker und Stämme besäßen gar keine westliche Kultur in unserem afrikanischen Sinn. So wissen wir schon aus älteren Filmmaterial, dass auch die Oberösterreicher früher einmal durchaus rituelle Tänze kannten. Also once practiced ritual dances. Die Oberösterreicher tanzen. Aber was dieser Tanz bedeutet, ahnen Sie, so scheint es. So <laughs> oh, I'm in the way. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit in the way. Uh, give me a second. However, they themselves do not comprehend the meaning of the dance. Die formalen Abläufe werden streng beachtet. Aber es scheinen sinnentleerte Formen. <laughs> Man muss als Forschungsreisender freilich immer und immer wieder vor Vorurteilen warnen. Fremde Länder, fremde Denkwelt. Unsere afrikanische Kultur ist eine Kultur der Masken, des Tanzes und des Gesangs. Die europäische Kultur, so sagt man, sei eine Kultur mehr zum Beispiel des geschriebenen Wortes. Und es steht unten. I also don't understand uh, Oberösterreichische, yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> and we should, I, I, this line, this, hold on, this line right here, wait, and we should not think the less of them for this. <laughs> it's so good, it's so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so brutal it's such a brutal takedown of these like <laughs> gross documentaries <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe maybe we could watch this on stream sometime because <laughs> it's 55 minutes this is called das fest des hunis uh so, uh, in English, the festival of the chicken. Th this would be a really, a really good stream thing, I think. Okay, anyway, uh, we're watching uh, other white people culture. <laughs> Scoot the Lauren. Do a public domain movie night. Yeah, that would be awesome. Am I allowed? Yeah, that's a good question. It just sounds fun. Oh. Come here, you. Why don't you come here instead? That's it. And some more juice, which I'm going to pour a lot of it on. And then mm, I am going to put that culture. <laughs> in the oven. And, and, and look, I, I know that there are probably going to be some people who are like, white, like, white people do have culture. I know. I'm, I'm memeing. I am memeing. Um, I, I don't know if... If uh, das Fest in Hunis, or das Fest des Hunis is um, is public domain, I'm gonna look. And see how long it wants on the sheets, and I'm gonna put it in for ten minutes, then I'm gonna check on it. As you can see, it looks done. The minced meat looks as though it's been browned, so I'm gonna <laughs> scoop some out and try oh. it. Oh my yeah, God! Look, it. hold on. Did you see that? L look at the fucking chunk of lasagna. That is just sticking up like a bone plate. Scoop some out and try it. Now it's the taste test. I'm sure the taste test will go great. She's actually eating it herself. Wow. The grass are just a minute to me, but the, the tomatoes are a bit overpowering. The tomatoes are a bit overpowering because you fucking dunked ketchup into it. The pasta. Crunchy. Nice soft. Right, that was oh, it is nice. soft. I okay. You were being asking where Lee is. Sometimes I like to do the taste test, so I did it today. There's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. And it is working. So if you like what you see, please oh, thank give me a me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please feel free. And if you want to leave a comment, please do the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get subscribed. <laughs>
<laughs> Don't expect it every time because I've got a bad memory. But thank you. Bye. <laughs> what a Chad. <laughs> Yeah, she's got merch. It lit it's just, uh, unfortunately, it's just shirts that say uh, Kay's cooking on it. Protector of Jam has been subbed for five months now, and they just say fucking Twitch. Not telling me your life for an hour. Yeah, I know. Twitch is a little bit finicky that way. But yeah, um, cooking with Kay is... But is fascinating it, it feels like watching someone make food based entirely just on videos of another culture i love it oh my god you guys you know what's next on the docket it's just mexican food and she's wholesome yeah that's the thing is i i can't really be mobility mary was a nuisance and she was openly, like, really awful to, like, especially to homeless people. Um, that really bothered me. Um, a weird amount. Maybe not a weird amount. I don't know. I, I was, like, usually I see people being douchey and I'm like, okay, yeah. But then she's, like, being weird to home, Like, what, walking up to a homeless, no, not walking, but, um sidling up to homeless people and being like, I returned some bottles and got a voucher for $4.17. Do you want it? Come on. Kay, on the other hand, from Cooking with Kay, just is having a wonderful time doing, <laughs> doing her thing. And it's... Like, I, I actually really, I, I don't know, her energy is good. She's got the proper chutzpah. <laughs> I appreciate it. She's she's just out here wilding and doing her thing. High charisma, low wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> Critical used to watch K on stream until people flooded her posts with hate. Aww. Yeah, I got, again, like, one of the rules in this chat is don't tap the glass. Don't go bothering people. Like, don't go bothering the people that we watch. She passes the vibe check. Yeah, you're right. I would say that is accurate. No, she's living her best life. I, okay. Well, hey, everyone. It's been an hour. And you know what that means. Everyone, including myself, get up, stretch your legs, stretch your arms, get yourself a sippy. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. I need to mute my microphone.
Someone in chat said that this music is, is what, chill? Hold on, I can even find it. Like, this music is chill for my chaotic energy. Is my energy really just that chaotic? Is it, am I that far gone? Is it, <laughs> is it really, like, that bad? <laughs> No, oh, okay. <laughs> I do know, I, I do understand and have accepted my place as an agent of chaos. Combination of the chat and the stream topics. Yeah, that's fair. I I can see that. I'm, I'm disguised chaos. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm the vector by which the chaos gods worm their way into the old world. Been micized a bit, a little bit. I feel like the streams have actually given me the chance to sort of build my own identity on stream. You know, as as much as I'm, as much as I have built an identity. Maybe a better way of putting it is return to my own identity more, because I do have a tendency to take on the energy of the people I'm around, and energy being, you know, not not in like a metaphysical sense. Just, I, I tend to reflect the people around me to a certain degree. <clears throat> you all ready to start again? I also uh, did take a peek. I do not believe that uh, Das Fest des Hunes is... Um, is in the public domain. It, it was made for um, Austrian public television. So I don't think that it's in the public domain, unfortunately. So, oh well. That's okay. Um, I would highly recommend everyone watch it, though. It's only like 30 years old. Yeah. It, it, it was made in the 1990s. Early 1990s. Hey, Coffee Kindred. Thank you so much for three months of subbing. And well, you know what's coming. The question is, when is it going to come? When? You don't know. You don't know. Are you? Are you ready? You ready for it? Are you ready? Are you? Huh? Huh? Whoa. Could come any second. Could come now. Or it could come now. Or it could come now. <gasps> or now. No. Surprise! It looks like you get to visit <laughs> the bonus bean room. <laughs> Thank you very much for the sub. <laughs> Are you all ready to learn how to make Mexican food? I sure am ready. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again, and today I'm going to be doing Mexican food in tacos. Wait, Mexican food and tacos? Or Mexican food in taco? What? Oh, I took some skin off first. It's a onion. I feel a bit better with, with this knife. It's not one of the shiny ones, as you can see. It's one of the other ones. I was too, I was just too scared to use the other ones. So I'm just going to take some layers of skin off this one. What do you mean too scared? Were they too sharp for you? <laughs> Every I time she. Onion. It's uh, that many layers of skin to take off. You don't know where you are. Seb Sebenkia is saying, calling it now, same bolognese with a pinch of mild chili powder. I'm setting up a poll. Um, bolognese with chili powder. Yes. Or no. 
I'm curious to see what people think. Personally, I'm voting yes. There, I've weighed in. I didn't want to do a bet because I know some people already know. It wouldn't, like, some people are already very familiar with Kay's work. No, no gambing. This is more just, I'm curious what people have to say and what they think. My guess is no, she will put something else really strange in. Hmm. Interesting thought, Pascaharan. What do you think, like, if you think that she is going to put something weird in there, what do you think it's going to be? I always was struck that K. um, I personally am struck uh, by K being a creature of habit. I think that's why she basically just always uses the same minced meat. Uh, she always adds, like, the same ingredients, as far as I can tell. She has a comfort zone, and she's very reticent to move outside of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer of skin off. Like she knows what meat is. She knows what onions are. And another layer. I think I might need a smaller knife for this. For this little bit. Now, here we are. Took that bit off now. She always uses Start the same now, kind of meat. Off. Are you having fun watching her peel an onion? Mm. This is almost as fun onion. as peeling an onion yourself. <laughs> That's it. We're getting there. I hope we also get to see her mm, peel garlic. Enough. That'd be exciting. Throw that away. There we are, and I'm gonna cut this peel onion up. Sure the no, onion. Sorry, honey on. Oh. Honey on. Get this knife. Got to start cutting a bit sharp. I kind of sharp appreciate. This. Her pronunciation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slice this up. Peel the banana. Peel the banana. Ah, shit. Did she cut herself? She did. Ah, <gasps> shit. Oh, God. Well, we've got it. We've done it. We thought we would do. We thought it would be long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a pasta on my finger where I put the onion, honey on in the in the uh, frying pan uh, and let it cook. I, did, I wasn't expecting right, to actually see that. her draw so blood. So I'm going to cut this pepper up. It's a red bell pepper. Oh, God. Oh, look inside. <gasps> Is it molding? Oh, no. Fresh yesterday. So we're going to slice that in. And as you can see, I spat it. Oh, it's molding. No. 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 You heard her say, not the freshest. No, that that's beyond not fresh. That's mold. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, that's beyond, like, a little bit old. When you say a bell pepper is a little old, it's just a little bit mushy. Like, maybe maybe a tiny bit soft. Oh, yeah. Fresh yesterday. So, we're going to slice that in. Oh. And as you can see, a small knife again. No, okay, okay, so here's the thing. Like, if, if there's, like, if there's mold, right? Like, the thing about bread, right, is if you start to see mold on it, that means that, like, if there's a little bit of mold, you kind of have to get, like, my understanding is you kind of have to get rid of the whole thing because the mold will be just everywhere in it. If you see if you see just a bit of fuzz, that, that means that the mold has worked its way through the whole thing. Um... Yeah, that's only the mold you can see. So you're going to end up having problems. Um, mold, I don't like it. It might not quite be the same, but still, that I would not use that pepper. Oh, 
Oh, you can see it. Oh, fuck. Now, this is more sharper. Type of cheese, fuck off. One. I am so frightened. So that's, I'm putting these in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in with the honey, honey on. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Uh, with the honey on. Oh, yeah, you know what? I, I think that it is a channel meme, her calling it a honeyon. Because she just corrected herself. She said onion and then corrected it to honeyon. To cook them together. So then I'm going to put... It should, I think there's a sauce I've got to put with it to some form or other. So to make this a Mexican stuff. Right, as you can see, I'm doing the... Uh, I don't know. Some sauce, some spicy sauce. So I'm going to add uh, the chicken in. Mean. Okay, it looks that's like that's pre-cooked store rotisserie chicken. So thank Stir goodness for that at least. Sauce. By the way, if you are going to get pre-cooked meat, rotisserie chickens are a good way to go because like you can store it and then just use it in everything. Like rotisserie, like those sorts of rotisserie chickens, you can just keep using. I don't eat a lot of meat, so it's not something that I do terribly often. Right, now I'm gonna put the... But you now can. You can, uh, you can make Please. this... Chicken or, or, or mincemeat. My friend says she's not bothered what she what she has. What are done these? With. They're like little Put a bit more in bread there. bowls. Come on, spread it out. A bit of honey arms and Oh no, the peppers. peppers. Please don't tell me her son is eating this. At least. Peppers, but they're not spicy at all. Well, not where I got them from anyway. Right. At le there, <laughs> yes, they're bell peppers. Oops, they're not so spicy, they're correct. Never mind, doesn't matter. And now I'm going to put the sauce. I'm going to get a different spoon. And I'm going to stir the sauce and put some on. Yeah, I. Okay, please tell me that it's only her eating it. Please don't tell me that there's collateral damage. Right, this is now warmed up enough. I'm hoping. But it froze and for a there. moment. Like, I paused it, but then it froze. Now I'm going to put this sauce... In the time code. Oh, I ran out of sauce. <laughs> I thought I'd got enough. Never mind. Not to worry. There we are. Done! Again, I think Lee that's just ketchup. Do... No! Lee no! To do... <laughs> I forgot I got that No, one. no, no! Don't do it! Do Don't do it, Lee! Down the neck. Don't do it, Lee! It's not worth it! You've dropped a pepper? No, oh, I dropped that no, one. No, you've dropped that one. <laughs> it, no, no, do... oh, oh, God, that fuck. sauce is going to be red hot. Ooh. It's not. Isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, well, I'm still not having it anyway. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm not going to be bad, bad all night. That is delicious. Is it? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, is it? <laughs> That's why I'm not It takes a while, it. thank you. Not really spicy, no. a bit like a, no. a chip chop. That's spicy for me. What would you do to make to your spicy. mom happy? Well, yeah. Yeah. What would you do to make your mom happy? Like, what if you went to go visit your mom and you saw her cooking with, like, with bell pepper. She cuts it open and there's black mold on the in inside and she just mutters to herself, oh, these aren't very fresh, and then keeps going. Would you eat it? Would you eat it? Would you say something? <laughs> yeah, puber uh or excuse me, puber is uh wait, no, pie weber. Haha. Ha. Make um 
says mold is a fungi, ha- fungus, it has a mycelium, and soft food like breads, fruits, vegetables, and meats, you need to throw them out because the body of the mold is spread um, is uh, spread through. Hard cheese is different, though. You can still eat that if you cut about an inch or so off the block. Yeah. But you just... That is gorgeous. Thumbs up. Free mushrooms. <laughs> Hey guys, I got onions about six months ago, and now I have mushrooms. <laughs> oh, that's nice to hear. Right, Lee likes it. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I know I've only shown you one. Uh, reason is, is I'm not going to be having the sauce on my chicken. I, don't, I can't. I can't see the point in being ill all night. So, if you like what you see, oh, um, Jesus. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up. Did you give me a thumbs up? Oh, give me a big thumbs up. Uh, if you oh, want to leave a comment, please feel free. The more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing. <laughs> God, take a breath then. Get them subscribing. Get yourself subscribing. Get everybody subscribing. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Oh, oh, I was not... Gordon Ramsay has been real quiet since this came out. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. That was... Yeah, she's a sweet woman, but my God, someone give her a food safety course. Yeah, that's about where I'm at at this point. I just was not... That was such a gut punch. I was not ready to see mold inside of that bell pepper. She's trying, ma'am. But man, she needs to try harder. Hi, people. And I'm back cooking again. And today, I'm going to be making a pizza. All right, you ready for Vinny pain? You all ready for Vinny pain? Let's go. I'm putting, I'm making my own sauce. So I'm All right. the garlic in. No, I'm don't push it in with the sharp side. No, don't push it in with the sharp and side of the blade. Also add a tin of tomatoes. A tin of okay. Oh! Oh my god, I've opened a tin of tomatoes without ooh ow ooh ow. Now they are chopped tomatoes, only because I don't like plum tomatoes. Okay. And it does say some, in fact, I can't even say, balsmatic vinegar. But, because I couldn't get any from where I go shopping. My own sauce. Um, I decided to get, it said said you can use soya sauce if it ever comes out of a jar, bottle. So that's one. And oh my word! And that for spaghetti sauce, it is kind of nice to add some uh, Worcester shot, Worcester, Worcester, Worcester sauce. That's two. Now what I'm going to do with? Did the can hiss? Oh God! Hold on, we're going back. Who's um, where I go shopping? Um, I decided to get some, oh, in fact, I can't on. even say, bal- balsmatic vinegar. But, because I couldn't get any from where I go shopping, um, I, I didn't decided hear to get... If you, um, yeah, we're we're going to oh skip ahead. Oh, my word. And balsamatic, balsmatic now, I'm vinegar. Do that. I'm going to mix <laughs> that. I'm going to put it all in... All in the blender, blend it up, and then I'm going to blender? make the pizza. Really? As you can blender? see, I've put some salt. Wait, wait, she said, <laughs> she said she's going to put it in the blender and then make the pizza. What, that's just going on the side? Salt, some butter, and some flour in. And... Oh shit! That's it, I've opened it. Ouch. 
I really like how each one of these videos is very visibly and audibly a struggle. I'm going to put too much what was that it's about a spoonful that's what it needs to be and i'm what gonna was mix it? that in as well did, did, did she even say what it was oh shit did i just Flour miss it in. and yeast oh shit oh, that's it i've opened it ouch and i'm going to put yeah it's ooh, yeast bit too much. yeah it's about a spoonful that's what it needs to be and I'm going to mix that in as well with everything. Make sure everything is. Clip the oh shit for a soundboard. Oh, good and right. Maybe. The frog going all over, but sure not to worry. Doesn't matter. And then I'm going to put some water. I'm going to add some water to it. Not too much. I'm going to keep mixing it. I'm mixing it and mixing it and mixing it. Wise woman, wise woman. Need a little bit more water. Wise woman cooking here. So I'll put some more water in. Ooh, <laughs> made a funny sound that. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Kay. Mixing this and keep mixing Thank it you, and Kay. mixing it and mixing it. Until all the flour and the salt and the yeast and everything else that were in it all comes together so I can put some flour on the table and roll it out. As you can see I've rolled it, I'm rolling it out and it did come together in the end. Uh, well that's it came, it. Together. came together in the end. And what I'm okay. going to do is I'm going to put this on the baking tray and I'm going to slap all the stuff that's on it. Mineral Marrow says, imagine buying yeast from the store when you could just grow your own. I'm going to... Inside of your bell peppers. That was together, that was connected. So what I'm going to do, yeah, like I said, slap it on a baking tray, put it in the oven, wait stuff on it and blah, blah, all that stuff. Right, I'm putting these on now. Do you think Kay washes her hands prior to cooking? I don't think she washes her hands after handling the meat. Uh, these big sausages, aren't they? <laughs> um, I'm not putting no cheese on these because, well... You not really don't like cheese, so that's it. That is going in the oven now for, I don't know, 20 minutes. Okay. 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll see what the situation is when it comes out. These are both the pizzas. Mine's got cheese on it. Lee's hasn't, so... <laughs> they look, These oh, are pizzas. They look the same. Now is the taste test. Mike has to see this. It looks like a burn victim. <laughs> it just tastes like pizza. Right, it tastes a like in the pizza. We. It is. What do you what do you mean? It just. I'm so sorry. I'm making just the most awful noises right now. But there was no elaboration, like the entire taste test portion. Like, fucking look at this. Oh, no. No, no. And so, they look, oh, they look the same. Now is the taste test. Now is the taste test. Wait a minute. Did she just rip off a chunk or had she been eating it already? Now is the taste test. I think she ripped off a chunk. It just tastes like pizza. <laughs> right, there's gonna be a link. That's it. That's it. That's the entire taste test portion. Lindsay Yo Yo Yo. Thank you so much for the fresh sub. 
and hey, it looks like you get to visit the bonus pizza room. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. <laughs> I can't believe she's just like, it tastes like pizza. That's it. It makes me wonder if she actually thought it was disgusting or like was disappointed in her work and was like, it's pizza. Or maybe maybe pizza is just such a vanilla flavor for her. Oh, by the way, uh, someone asked uh, why I don't have closed captions on. Do you think that closed captions would be able to do anything with this? In the description to my merchandise. Right, let's see if we can get this right. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please feel free. If you want to leave me a comment, please do, the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get subscribing, get them subscribing, get, get everybody subscribing. subscribing. Thank you. Bye. Get subscribing. They're <laughs> Oh, God. Are they okay? Twitch closed caption is getting it. Wow. That's impressive. Twitch closed caption is doing okay. Okay. Like, she... She sounds like she'd be, yeah, she seems like she'd be kind of fun to hang out with for an afternoon. After that, she'd kind of run out of things to talk about, I think. So what's next? Vegan scrambled eggs. Wow. All right. Okay, let's see how she does vegan scrambled eggs. I mean, it's eggs. Even I can do eggs. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again, and today I'm going to be making a vegan scrambled eggs. Now I've got the powder in first. Does she always wear an Iron Maiden shirt? Oh, vegan egg. Yeah, okay, I'm a, I'm an, I'm a moron. I'm a moron, okay? Uh, yeah, I know, they're not... <laughs> okay, I'm dumb. The, no eggs. No egg. I get it. Said, uh, add some small brain. Well, it said add, add eight ounces of water, but I don't want to add too much and find out it doesn't go. Wait a minute. What is this powder? What is this powder? Did now, I've got the powder in first, and then it said add some. Well, what, it said what add, powder? add eight ounces of water. So, she, wait a minute, is she just literally, like, does she have a package of powdered vegan eggs? Yeah, well, just a vegan egg powder. I do yeah. too much and find out it doesn't go right. Now, this is the first time I've ever made anything like this. I never, Asbestos. <laughs> well, I'm not a, a vegan, so uh, I'm just hoping this turns out right. Oh, it's getting like it. Bit darker than what our eggs are, but uh, I don't think that matters. I think I'll add <laughs> a little touch more. I think eight ounces might have just been. I think I might. I think I'll do exactly what it said on so the tin. Add the full eight ounces. Oops. I've got a feeling that that's gonna. What's, what's that sound in the background? It's like, it looks like an egg, isn't it? The feel feels like an egg. I mean, it, this is it. it. it it's just yellow, her making... It? It's just her so making this vegan egg mix. Is, I'm going to put my, fa my fan... My pan on number four. While I keep beating this egg. I don't know if I'm doing right by... Beating it continually. I mean, will it? I can't see how it can settle if there's nothing to settle. But uh, <laughs> I'm just going to wait for my pan to heat up. To is it? Well, and then I'm going to put it in because, as you can see, it looks like an egg, doesn't it? Oh, a bit like an egg. Oops. Wait. 
What? There's a liquid in the pan. Is that... Is that... Is that all oil? What the fuck? That was the noise. You're right. Oh no! That's how you make puffy eggs. That much oil? For that Oops. little egg? Oh, and look, there's like the, the uh, powder the at the bottom. Was some, well, it's, it's called, uh, it's just literally called egg. Uh, it's egg, it's egg powder. I get that you use a lot of oil to make, like, to, to make some kinds of eggs, but... Fuck, that's a lot. ...that you can get from most supermarkets. <laughs> Naomi May, Jesus, that woman has half of Saudi Arabia in her pan. <laughs> if you want the, I do know a friend of mine, an acquaintance of mine, got, <laughs> got it from Holland and Barrett, and you'll just have to follow the instructions. Oh. I'm turning my ring up. Uh, you'll and just have to just follow the... the instructions of how to make it, which is the powder that you've already got oh, mixed God. with water. And as I showed you, uh, like I said, you can get most you get most of the oh. uh, ingredients, ingredients, most of the powder from. Uh... Also, yeah, people are pointing it out in chat. She's using a metal spatula on her nonstick pan. So she's basically eating vegan eggs with, like, with a fuck ton of oil and Teflon bits. Supermarkets. Now this pan was a bit cold, so I'm gonna give it time to warm up. Right, I don't know if it's gone right. Oh, what was that sound? Look like this, but I'm gonna taste it. Cold cooler now, I took some out. Oh my god. Oh my god. It doesn't taste like an egg, it tastes like I don't know what to explain it, how to explain it, but it tastes like oil. It's really like so so here's the thing, right? If 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 you were able to like make a nice fluffy egg with with that much oil, you're able to make something nice with it, okay. But does that look like a nice fluffy omelet to you? Or does nice. it just look like wet it's egg? It's the nicest egg I've ever tasted. So yeah, thumbs up. Well, like I said, I can't explain what it tastes like. It tastes a bit like... No, no, chicken. You know chicken you get from... Chicken fried rice you get from a, a chip shop. Uh, it tastes a bit like that, right? Uh, the, 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 it tastes a bit ricey, that's it, but with more and more flavouring. So, if you Teflon like what you see... Uh, yeah, it's the old, Teflon is the only seasoning she needs. Please keep yeah. viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, like that, because I know man will like that, will like that, then please do. If you want to leave me a comment, please feel free, the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing. And there will be a link in the description to my t-shirts that I am selling. No one is selling them for me, just me. Thank you. Bye. Bye. She's, she's doing her damnedest. Now look, I understand that we were... Okay. The two things that we really need to watch before break are the baked beans, pasta and cheese, and the eggs benedict. Because what the fuck is going on with that eggs benedict? What is in there? What is that? I need to know. Okay, but we need the beans. Everyone prepare your beans. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be making a baked bean, cheese and pasta bake. Right, I've, I know I've, I've cooked the rice first, and that's a flaming hell, it's not rice, is it? I've cooked the pasta first. I don't know if I was supposed to. I don't know if I was supposed it. I, cook, I, cook, I cooked it. So, 
I'm gonna spread it out. That's it. Mm, rice. Oh dear me. And I'm going to put the beans in, the baked beans in. I've been told it has to be baked beans, so who am I to argue? I know I filmed it first. Who am I to argue? Mm. There so they go. nice and done. That's one tin out. Even when I was little, this sort of canned baked bean was always too sugary for me. I feel like all the baked beans that I was served at like Boy Scout camp were always just sickeningly sweet, right? Anyone else have that experience? Told you I needed two tins. And I get all the tin. That's it. Oh, here we go. Easy making. Nearly beans. getting all covered up. So it not be cold. There we are. And I get the bait out. Get out. I don't know if it's supposed to, but I'm going to mix it all in together so that the beans can go on the bottom as well as the pasta i don't and... know if i'm i don't know if i'm supposed to is the like the tagline of this channel and after that i'm going to put some cheese and i know you're all gonna say oh she's a cheese addict yes i know i am and i'm so sorry but i love my cheese so i'm gonna put cheese on my part I especially like it when the cheese kind of gets a little bit green. Oh, it adds such a lovely flavor and texture. It gets nice and soft. I know normally you only put a little bit, but like I've just said, I'm a cheese addict, so you'll have to make do with that. So I'm going to put a little bit more on. And there we are, all done. That's going to go in the oven now for about, I'm going to put it in for 10 minutes. Wait, you're like not going to put the cheese on on the rest of it? You're just going to sprinkle sprinkle a little bit on top? It looks if when you just sprinkle the the cheese on top, it looks like you're trying to cheese like made a sculpture of a washed up 70s movie star with just the the blonde white hair like the the thinning graying blonde hair on top a portrait of blonde Ozzy Osbourne let's see what it looks like uh, that is the end product of well that's the end product <laughs> That's the end product of... And then she realizes what she has wrought. That's the end product. She sounds so disappointed in herself. And now for the taste test. <laughs> Do you think... I feel like we just witnessed her have... An epiphany. Like she's realized something about her life like... This is where my life has led to. There are some people who by my age have conquered countries, created great works of art. And I? I made baked beans, pasta, and cheese. I put the, those three things together into a pan. Well, some of a pan. Some of the pan is just two of them. Uh, that is the end product of... Well, that's the end product. And now for the taste That's the end taste. product. That's it. Why did I get a spoon? Why did I get a spoon? <laughs> She's like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm not sure if this is right. Why did I get a spoon? Like, I feel like there have been so many introspective moments in this video. We're going to have to have an introspective moment counter at some point. 
<laughs> hey, Lucky Bun. I don't like the pasta served in the bonus bean room. <laughs> it's our specialty dish. Mm. Mm. I will say, with that cheese on the mac, the pasta, it tastes really, really nice. Right, there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. Uh, now let's see if I mess this up again. If you like what you see, please keep you in me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please feel free. If you want to leave me a comment and what you want me to do, please do the more the merrier. Now nah, I've messed that up. But if you, <laughs> but if you, if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get subscribing, get them subscribing, get everybody subscribing. Thank you. Bye. So. People have He's people gone. have been noting that like this kind of feels like struggle food. I guess the the thing is that's not really the way that Kay is building it. Kay, I don't I don't think Kay is building it at all. If you guys want to see a good like struggle food kitchen, I actually have a a really good recommendation. Whoopsie Daisy, um, this uh, that there there is a series called Hand to Mouth that is basically like poverty cooking that's quite good like here look like look at this it's been a long time since i've seen it so maybe it's terrible but this is um the a, a little team put together by the dude that makes saturday morning breakfast cereal the amazing web comic like look at this meat's gone green that just means it's a vegetable <laughs> meat's gone green that just means it's a vegetable <laughs> they made the joke. You see that? Dave's ordering delivery again. That fool. Doesn't he know he's paying 10 bucks just for some dude to walk a block and hand him his food? Maybe he ordered something crazy complex. Nope. It's just fried rice. Delivery guy strikes again. We have to stop this. Come! All right, today we're- Okay, so this series is called Hand to Mouth. Um, the, the, it's, it's re literally just the cum. Oh, don't worry. They have tons of cum jokes. Um, but no, they, the, the whole idea is here, like with, with the most simple ingredients and the simplest instructions, you can eat well. Like that's, that's what they did. That's what the whole series is. Like, We're making watch. fried rice, one of the most comely ordered items for delivery. Which is stupid. Comely ordered. Mm -hmm. You can make enough fried rice to last a week for like five bucks. Don't make the same mistake Dave is making. Get your ingredients together and let's do this. All right, so get some cooked rice, cooked veggies, eggs, soy sauce, and vegetable oil. Now we cook the rice ahead of time. If you need a refresher on how to do this, just check out the episode where we, you know, cooked rice. We also got some peas and carrots from Garden. We chopped and cooked them ahead of time. We didn't show you because, come on, you're big kids now. Mm -hmm. We also <laughs> cracked and mixed a few eggs, which means we just need soy sauce and vegetable oil. Shop smart for those ingredients. A big generic container of vegetable oil shouldn't cost you more than three bucks. Mm -hmm. As for the soy sauce, check your local Asian market. Odds are they're going to have huge bottles of soy sauce for a lot cheaper than the nearest chain grocery store. We go to a place called Chen's. I should say this was eight years ago, so the prices have probably changed. You know, inflation. Service, not the best. So, heat up the frying pan. When it's ready, pour in <laughs> your oil. You'll know it's up to the right temperature when it gives off a sizzle somewhere between a can of spray paint and a rattlesnake. If you're anything like <laughs> you, you've been around a woman, you've been attacked by both these things. Next, add in your veggies and stir for about 30 seconds. Wait a second. Yeah? You're stirring mm -hmm. while frying. I just got it. Jesus. Next, pour in your eggs. <laughs> stir quickly to scramble, and then comes the main event. Add rice. That's it. And soy sauce to taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can stop now. Um, <laughs> you can stop now. <laughs> you can stop now. You set the taste. This is my taste. 
<laughs> and then they replace Give it. Give it a few more quick swishes, <laughs> and kaboom. Fried rice. Restaurant style without the restaurant price. It's literally throwing things into a frying pan with oil. You have no excuse. Mm -hmm. Let's get this to Dave before he makes a horrible mistake. <gasps> Dave, before you open that wallet, take this. Damn, guys, this is good and it's not even lukewarm. Um, <laughs> sorry to be a jerk bag, but it's okay. Happens all the time. I'm gonna get you later. We'll be waiting. <laughs> and the day is saved. Enjoy your meal, citizen. It was you! <laughs> the reason they're impoverished is how quickly they go through soy sauce, right? <laughs> but yeah, like, this is... Like, th th I, I appreciate channels like this, where it's just like, yeah, it's here. here's how to make cheap, simple meals. And, and like, this, this sort of thing makes a lot of sense, right? Because people order out stuff like fried rice all the time when it's, like, cheap. Dollar a dozen. Yeah, right. Dollar a dozen for eggs. Very different time. It's crazy to think how much of a difference like eight years makes. Nine. Almost nine years. Anyway, guess what? It's been another hour. Y you guys like how we've made our way through what? One, two, three, four, five videos, <laughs> and it's been two hours. I feel like that's the story of these streams. And honestly, it <laughs> I wonder if there are people who come to these streams and they're like, what the fuck, why doesn't Fred stay on topic more? It's like, bitch, I have a channel for that. <laughs> hey, it's been an hour. You know what that means. Everyone, get up, stretch your legs, stretch your arms, get yourself a sippy, and I'll see you all in about five minutes.
Hello? Back. I've got- I've got my tea. I saw someone saying that I just hate all oxidization ever, and to that I say, Bitch, I'm drinking some green heart cultivar. <laughs> this stuff is su has such a rich flavor. I just- Just picky. Look, I, I'm not a fan of bitter teas. For the most part, there's some bitter teas that I'm okay with, but not as not very many. Hey, I'm curious. What is everyone drinking right now? It was bait. Yeah, I know it was bait. Sometimes I bite bait because it's fun. Monster. <laughs> I feel like, what must the vibe be like if you're watching this stream and drinking Monster? Could you imagine all of that? Pepsi. Your own saliva. I mean, yeah, and you're always drinking your own saliva. Mm, I guess. Matcha latte. Ali Shan. Hey! I almost had Ali Shan today. I decided to go for uh, Green Heart instead at the last minute. But I was planning on Ali Shan this morning, right up until I steeped the tea. LaCroix. Careful, that stuff is still about as bad for your teeth as normal soda. Fun fact. Yeah, Ali Shan is very mellow. It's very gentle, it's floral. It's, it's nice. It's a really good starter tea, but like, 
I, I also just drink it occasionally. Pilk. <laughs> Yerba Mate. Have I played Tunic? No, but it, I, I watched Limes playing it, and Limes sold me on it. Uh, Limes uh, did a sponsored stream with it. Hey, you guys ready to learn to cook more with K? Because I... Look, I know that we're skipping, but I want to make sure that we have lots and lots of time to really dig into Eggs Benedict, because what the fuck is going on with the thumbnail? I need to know. I need, need to know. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again, and today I'm going to be doing Eggs Benedict. All right. Now, as you can see, I've got the egg poacher, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some margarine round all the cubs. Cups, cubs, cubs, that's a bear, a bear cub. I meant to say cup, it's a cup, look, it's a cup. It's a cup, it's a cup. Ola Manon, with the savagery, found out why she has Iron Maiden t-shirts, by the way. It's all the Teflon she eats. Jesus Christ. Cope, it cope. <laughs> and this is where I brew my copium. It's a cup, look, it's a cup. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to put some margarine in and then I'll show you me cracking the eggs in them. As you can see, I've got lo lo uh, oh, marge, a lot loads of, of marge, and I'm no good at cracking margarine. eggs. So, oh, that's one. Hey, up. And it's not broke. I'm going to crack another one. I've got no energy in my hands at all. I think I need to go to the doctors and ask for if they sell no hands or straight with hands with strength in them. Oops, I think that one's going to be a broken one. Oh no, 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 I'm, I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Watch this, it's a little bit wrong. I definitely and, still oh, sometimes oh, break the yoke. No. Oh I'll give you a bloody... It's always so I, I I still struggle with it a little bit. Sometimes the yolk gets cut open by the edge of the um of the uh shell, small brain. Whatever you say. Right, I'm gonna put the lid on. That's it. Yeah, that's the lid on the uh the... Oh, I'm doing... I can't even tell what they are. Poached eggs. Yeah, part of the problem is you never know how strong the membrane is going to be on the egg. Right? Sometimes there's just, like, none, and it's just shell and then white. But then other times you have a really thick membrane, and sometimes, the like, you really need to pull. Sometimes it's just... It, you never know. Right, as you can see, there's no, no, uh, no uh, bacon. Oh no, bacon! No oil in the pan because the b bacon produces its own. The bacon. So I'm gonna put. <laughs> I imagine the bacon is being like anti-fadaiken. Put two pieces in the pan while the eggs are doing and. Well, I'm going to let them go. A bedaken is where a, a, a little jet sprays bacon grease to clean your butthole. And as you can see, the bacon is doing nicely. I know you're not supposed to use metal on <laughs> Teflon, but truth or not, it's turning it over. No, it isn't. It now. Right. So, the bacon is now going to be doing on the other side. As you can see, I've buttered the bomb cake. Is it bomb? Muffins, muffins, I don't know. 
Some muffin. I, I don't know what these are. Just muffin. Yeah, muffin. the scratching on the, As you can tell on the nonstick. Like then I'm going to put... All right. Baiting on it. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to take an egg out of the porch. I'm going to turn it off, in fact, because they'll be done. But I'm not going to show you because I need to do it over the sink because they are red, pretty hot. Now I'm going to put the poached egg on top of... So that was the egg. There we are. Hold on. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> no, come on. It's all gone wrong. There we are. Oh, hold on. We forgot the lid. And then... That's not... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Change it over. I'll put it flat. So, there we are. Oh my God. There, he's done. <laughs> Now, I know the porch egg's a bit big, but I haven't got a smaller <laughs> porcher, so that's the end product. It's a... And here it is. is the taste test. There it is. Oh, she cut it in half. Oh, here he goes. It sure is eggs, bacon, and margarine in a muffin. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Just... And no, this is not satire. I, I appreciate... You wouldn't. Mm -mm. Well, yeah, but it's in the no, no, recipe. It's in Just, the recipe. You can't... This is the crazy thing. I feel like Kay is lawful neutral. Like, she's lawful neutral, but she only adheres to some of the laws. Like, you have to use all these ingredients, but how you put them together, eh, you know, whatever. Oh, also, I totally uh, missed a sub before the break happened um there was a sub before the break and i didn't call them out calypso sd if you're please tell me if you are still here uh if you are please i i i want to know that i am i am catching your sub before you leave please i'll feel so bad there you are okay good hey guess what it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room Good. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I caught you. Knife bean, bellissimo. And Zeokime. That's how I choose to pronounce your name. <laughs> A fresh prime sub. Thank you very much. And to you as well. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Thank you very much to both of you. Uh, let's let's see what our recovered boy says the, the face of regret <laughs> i don't regret you being my mom but i regret being your taste tester you can taste everything what about the eggs yes you can taste the eggs the eggs it's eggs no it isn't it's my eggs. cooking channel my my words <laughs> yeah, it is her anyway, names. So, uh, yeah, Onion, everything's hags. nice, but I just don't think the ham should be there. So, thumbs up. Right, well, as Lee said, hot shouldn't go with cold, which I agree anyway. But, so, um, to, uh, oh, I've lost it now. Yeah, my merch, not this one. I feel like part of the lawful neutralness of K is I will only ever do it in one take because otherwise it's inauthentic. Obviously. I suspect that's My what's going on. My has been fixed, so you can get in, get as many t-shirts as you want. Obviously, you have to buy them, they're not free. What uh, she means is there'll be a link in the description. Yeah, there'll be a link in the description because I always forget it wrong don't start and as you know i am doing a q a on the 28th of february which is this week so yes get your questions in i will pick them all up and write them all down and if you like what you see please keep viewing me if you want to give me a thumbs up please feel free and if you want to leave a comment please do the more the merrier have I got it right? I've oh, got it right. Oh, I haven't finished the ending bit. I'm liable to mess that up. And 
<laughs> if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing, get subscribing. Everybody who's subscribing got me so many views. Thank you so much. Bye. I, I appreciate the gusto. This one wasn't so bad, right? I mean, it's, it's not great, but... Oh, whoops. That's the fried rice. I feel like that one was, you know... I'd eat it if, if, if someone put that in front of me. How many Michelin stars does K have? Hmm... I mean, if she gets enough subscribers, then she'll be able to get another Michelin star. Another Michelin star. <laughs> Point zero 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 one. <laughs> well, you guys, she is English. And so... I think that there is nobody better to tell us how to make an English breakfast than Kay herself. Please inform us. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today. Did she put on a stained shirt for the video? Today I'm going to be doing a full English breakfast. Right, Where's that sweat? See, I put some sausages. In the oh pan. golly! I know it's not hot, and I know I'm not. I don't think I've. I do it. But I will, because the sausages are in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them down a bit. Are, okay. Look, I'm sure that there are going to be some people who are like, "This is what the cheapest possible sausages look like," but I personally, like. I can't be the only one who has never seen a white sausage, right? Printer ran out of ink. <laughs> yeah, they look like they they look like packing peanuts. Never seen a white phrasing fuck off command in cobalt. <laughs> Literally fuck off. Think they're veal? I mean, what that they they'd still have color. Vice first. I, I but this is English, not German. I mean, yeah, they're frozen, but a frozen sausage still has some color. And I'm going to slap. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm over here. I'm moving things out. <laughs> Oh, what a bitch I am. Uh, anyway, I've moved the sausages, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put bacon in. <laughs> with her, the sausage. Her white balance could be fucked, but do you think that she calibrated her whites on the sausages? And hopefully they'll cook nicely. Right, as you can Ugh. see, I've got some things cooking. I'm going to turn the... Look at how much oil she's using in the pan. And then she's putting the bacon in it. Sausages over. Ow, don't spit. It's very low to spit. Ow! <laughs> and turn the bacon over. Um, it just... Ow! It did say on the uh, recipe... That you can have black or white pudding. Well, this is a struggle post. The thought of black or white pudding just makes me sick to my stomach anyway. I don't like it. So there won't be any black pudding on. And it also says a slice of fried bread. Me and me, we do not like... I can't hear the people anywhere. We don't like fried bread. So all it is is this is... Man, all I can think of is how when I was growing up, my parents would only very, very rarely make bacon. Like, when they made bacon, it was a huge treat. Um, and they would always um, keep the grease, and they would use it for cooking later. 
save money and um the grease is like it, it has its own flavor um but she's like put more oil into the pan and that's all i can i'm sorry that's all i can think about but she just put bacon in an oiled pan it's just well just the start of it Right, I've just took a piece of bacon out. Just to mm. Bacon grease for cooking eggs? Absolutely. Oh, don't... Yeah, no, it hurts when it spits. It's rude. And the sausages, I've turned the sausages over. Mm. And I noticed that I've got some more room in the pan. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to show the mushrooms. Now, if you want to know what the mushroom looked like before. Are you telling me that a <laughs> that an English breakfast is being passive aggressive? No way. <laughs> That's what it looked like before. But I'm putting... I've got a bit of room, so I might put another couple in. I guess I'm just why why only use one pan? Why, like, I, I feel like you might want to have, like, the bacon in one pan, right? If you're going to, like, put that much oil in, there is only, she only owns one pan. If she only owns one pan, then she's not treating it very well. Oh, sir. Now, as you can see, the mushy rooms are now gone. Drain them again. I mean, I guess. Put them on the tray and get more out. And what I'm gonna shit. Oh them. god, the shit. oil is shit. like okay. Look, I get if you have oil that is like dripping off of something when you take it off the pan, but this is like coming down in a stream. Like, like you know how water falls off of your fingers in the shower. It's like that kind. It's like sopping. Oh. Again, okay, so pe people are talking about the scratches on the pan, and someone in, in chat brought it up. If you have a Teflon nonstick pan, use plastic spatulas. Metal is going to scrape the Teflon off. And look, I, I know there might be some people saying that she doesn't own one, but we saw evidence that she does own one. Her oopie doopy. She has an oopie doopie. <laughs> no, I won't, I won't. I've been told off about this one, Harry. <laughs> Gotta behave. Right, that's it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put uh, two eggs in. I know the sausages are still in. Oh. No, like, see, the, the best part about eating Teflon is that it's non-stick. So that means that the food just slides right off of your intestines. It's great for weight loss. Look how perfect that one is. Look at that. Oh, you shit. Look how the second one messes up. Oh, should be tasty. Look at that. What's wrong with that? For that, I'm just going to stab them both. In your, and then you're not going to get, you're going to get a, 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 a bad breakfast. Right, as you can see, I've turned the heads over. Uh, now I'm going to scoop them up. Yes, there is a cameraman. It's her son. Oh, for God's sake. Scoop it up. Let it dribble off. Or even oh. Rain off. God! Oh my God! Look at all the oil dripping off! Oh! 
No. Right, and that's the two eggs on the plate. Jesus right, Christ. Right, the tomatoes have been in the microwave. What did she fucking put in? I know, you're like, oh, you put more fat. She just, she can't help but put tomatoes on everything. Sausage is in there, that, yeah, well, this is only just to show you. Right, as you can see, that's the end product. Oh, as <laughs> you can see, that's the end product. Did she leave the pan on? Get the pan off the fucking burner. Right, this is the test I've done. She already said that, but... Get the pan off the burner! Not the burner, but... Sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry for my language. That's right. The burner has to still be on. She just left it on. Oh, you can hear. A little bit burn. Oh. A little bit, just like around the outside of okay. it. I really appreciate how he's willing to criticize her cooking, but it's just things like it's a little bit burnt on the outside. It's called ASMR. <laughs> K's Pan ASMR channel. Yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah, I'm get to it. His taste buds like got... <laughs> the fungus ate his taste buds mm -hmm. from the bell pepper. The tomatoes are alright. Mmm, they're not actually that strong. They're not. Not oh, Bacon's not salty at all. Oh. Thumbs up. Does this man just hate nice, salt? So whatever he said, he gave me a thumbs up. He didn't say 10 out of 10, so you know he's going to get smacked off for this. Um, there's going to be... The pan is still going. It just keeps Let me see going. If I get this out. There's going to be a link in the description to my t-shirts. Am I right? Well, merch ass t-shirts. You know what she's doing? Oh no, I've scraped off a bunch of the Teflon, so uh, I'm gonna do a little English trick. I'm going to put a bunch of oil in the pan, just like this. And now I'm going to leave the pan on the, on, on the burner for five hours, and that will replace the Teflon. <laughs> yeah, well, my T-shirt, well, to my merchandise until I change what I'm doing. So, yeah, there's going to be a link in to the description in my, to my merchandise, that's it, something like that, anyway. There couldn't be a link in the description to your merch, that's Well, no, there's, there's going to be a link. Just get on with it. Thank you. You're going to see my T-shirt, my T-shirt. Um, the sun's not taking her so shirt. So, if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please feel free. And if you if you want if you want to leave a comment, oh, please popping. feel free. The more the merrier. And if you aren't a subscriber, you know someone who wants to subscribe. And to the person who said they got the dog subscribed, bless sure. you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. So, uh, that was a trip. I cannot believe that they just left the pan on. Think about what their counter must look like. Just absolutely spattered in oil. That food is popping off, literally. Accurate. Have you seen her flat bagel? Is that a euphemism? Schnoodly. Thank you so much for the sub. That's another fresh sub. Thank you so much. Everyone, everyone, prepare your beans, for the time has come. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. You think she was cooking a second batch for herself, Lost in Bokeh. Even if she was, you still wouldn't want to leave it on. Do the teriyaki chicken? Yeah, I feel like we, we only have time for about two more. Uh, what the fuck is this chicken? Yeah, I, I feel like let's let's look around. 
near enough moussaka, chicken teriyaki, gumbo. Oh, using the slow cooker, it looks like. Sausage and egg muffin, ratatouille. Hey, sly blue cat, another fresh sub. Lots of fresh subs today. Thank you so much, everyone. And of course, the induction must be complete. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Thank you very much. I want to see what's going on with the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Another vegan meal. I like how she has names of dishes and then it's just, you know, one of them vegan fuckers. A cheesecake. A Q&A that's 40 minutes long. Mushroom and egg. Be my version of bean burger, chicken burger, egg salad sandwich. I don't know. I want to see how she does the chicken teriyaki. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be making a chicken teriyaki. Is she okay? She looks like she just got told that her mom died. Like, is everything all right? As you can see, I've got the, well, you can't tell, but I've got the pan on. And it says, put the chicken in. It says, oh, come on. And it says that has got to cook on its own. I, I don't know if I told you, but I did put some oil in before. before and uh, it says it's got to cook. And Again, I want to draw attention to the fact that she says the recipe says this. Like, what this channel isn't her sharing recipes that she likes. This is a channel of her trying out new recipes that she has seen and not ever tried before. So it's golden brown. Now, as you can see, I've got a piece of garlic. Um, I've already top and tailed it, so... I know a lot of people say I'm wa a waste of garlic. That's it? That's but, the only garlic? Uh, I don't like lots of garlic. So all I'm going to do is just... That really? Crush it up. Really? Yo, what the hell? Hype train number two. Thank you so much. Adam.png taking us out of the station. With two months of subscription. Thank you so much. And hey. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. You know what that means. Hold on. I need to. I need to. All aboard! Choo-choo! <laughs> I'm so happy with this hat that Vex made. Choo-choo! It's so... Gosh, you all are just, like, way too kind to me. I And my weird little channel. I'm... I'm so... I'm, I'm just... Look, I'm just glad that you guys like my streams, okay? I'm, I'm being a big baby right now about it. Coffee Kindred with a hundred bits to say mushy room. Yeah. She has her cute names for foods, and I appreciate it. Her oopy doopy is still takes the cake though. And Pleco Pleco with 500 bits. Just to say doot doot. Here we go. Hee <laughs> hee. I know it's a space hat. Look, it's the hat I've got. It's it's all I got. Keep on cr crushing it until it's well, until it's crushed up. What more I can I say? Five hundred yes. bits. We got. We gotta give K bits. Everyone, give K bits to help her chop the garlic. So um, keep crushing. <laughs> Thank it you up. for the five hundred bits lost and in bouquet. Chicken cook. Keep cooking while I'm doing these. Come here. 
keeps Five escaping hundo. from me. So I don't think I can get it any finer than that. Oh, after she cut her finger. So I'll just after she cut her finger, I'm just so nervous watching her. Watching her, like, chop things up. 200 bits in the chop. Oh. Chop. Choppy chop. Yes, I think that's okay. Oh. Okay. And the one clove of garlic. Look, if any recipe calls for one clove of garlic, it's not enough. Always, always more. I don't know. I love garlic. A <laughs> hundred bits for chorped and lost in bouquet. Aw, oh, another five hundo. Five hundo more if she doesn't bleed this time. Yeah, the let's find out. Of rice, white rat, wood, wood, wood. What? What? What did she fucking say? I didn't catch like any of that. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of rice white rat wood wheat. I think that she mispronounced it and then just started saying <laughs> things. <laughs> rice white wine. Wow. Rice white wine. Now I'm going to put the garlic in. You mean vinegar? All over. It's not the year it's me going out. Uh, uh. What? So okay, gonna, thanks, I'm Kay. Gonna, I was worried. Oh, I'm going to scrub that in. I'm going to rub that in. Well, if I'm not rubbing it in, am I? Stir. Stirring it in. Rubbing it in. Like a stir fry, but it isn't a stir fry. It's a stir. Don't forget to rub your birds. Right, and now I'm going to put some soya sauce in. I might need a little bit more because I don't think I've got enough to there. taste. So, let's see if I can mix it all around. I don't think I've put enough in. I think only some of these pieces of chicken are going to have soy sauce on them. Might not though, but... You know, I'm a little worried with how hot that pan is that the chicken isn't going to be cooked all the way through. Like the outside's going to be overcooked. The, old, uh, the, the inside the, undercooked. The rest of the soy sauce on. But that's what it's supposed to look like, all coated. Now I'm going to add the water. <laughs> Delightfully generic. One uses garlic. And you are supposed to. One uses garlic with a complete and utter disregard bordering on contempt for whatever is recommended on the recipe. Absolutely. Completely correct. <laughs> Even if the recipe is for a single, like, just for a single clove of garlic used to. I think I stole that from Tumblr. I think that was originally a Tumblr thing. A hey, subground with two months of subscription. Thank you so much. Hey. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. We'll add some beans in there for you. Thank you. Now I'm going to add the water to it. Because I wash all the bloody soy sauce off. Never mind, never mind. Ooh. Oh, it's quiet now. And it does say to cook this for two to three minutes on a medium heat. Now, it's already on the medium heat, so I'm going to leave it to cook for two to three minutes. And that is the end product. Now yeah. it's time for the taste test. Right, let's do the taste test. Wait a minute. Was she about to time taste test it? For the taste test. And then she cut away from herself before she could eat it. Right, let's do the test. What the? <laughs> what? What? That's so surreal. Very strange. <laughs> what? What? What do you mean, very strange? It's chicken, garlic. And soy sauce. 
That's it. How could it be strange? It's just chicken. There's no flavor to it at all. Just no more chicken flavor. How? <laughs> even even Lee is mystified that that like Kay was able to extract every last ounce of flavor from this chicken. Right, as Lee said, there's no taste in it, uh, but I can't understand because of all the stuff that was put in it. But anyway, uh, there's going to be a link to the, the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a <sighs> thumbs up, please feel free. If you... If you want to leave me a comment, please feel free, the more the merrier. If you haven't subscribed, get subscribing. Everybody gets subscribing. I know I've messed it up, but I told you you probably wouldn't get it again. So thank you. Bye. Someone in chat mentioned that Lee has vlogs or blogs. I, I remember as well last time we were looking at Kay on the last stream that her son like has his own content what's going on with that lee streamed on twitch huh are there are there archives and yes we have to watch her out her every time it's important it's part of the experience Like, it, it, is it worth looking at? Channel is called Big Lee. You know what? I'm going to look this up real quick. Big Lee Gaming. Okay. Last time I'm doing this. What? Here we go again. What? Yeah, that's him. We found him. I feel... The lighting and the framing of all these videos is a little bit eerie. What is this? Ah, loud. Okay. Uh, audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Good morning, guys, and welcome. <laughs> I will. Oh, I need to. I need to unhat. Give me a second. Unhat. Hat has been und. Welcome to another vlog. And this is. I can I just say the funniest goddamn thing in the world to me is these YouTube channels that have these epic gamer intros, and then it's just them on like a shitty phone camera. That's what I'm having for my breakfast: a meatball marinara. Let me just show you. Yeah, there we are. And this was from Subway, and um, yeah, Bob, this is my breakfast. Right, guys, I know you can hardly see me, but I'm just stood here waiting for the taxi, because yes, I am going out today. I'm not going to tell you what I am doing, so you will okay. just have to wait and find out. But more or less okay. in the next clip, you more or less know. Right, guys, okay. I finished where I've been. If you want to know where I've been, I've been to have my hair cut. Yeah, and the reason I've that was the surprise that he got his haircut what cut me up is because it is raining so uh yeah that's where i've been today to have my hair cut i had a bit of a beard trim don't look no fucking different whatsoever but he never does when i've had it done but yeah i just thought i'd let you know where i've been so uh okay why yeah finally got it done so now i'm just on my way home because it is pissing it down but we're gonna get a taxi back but it didn't seem like bad weather so i started I... walking home then <sighs> back. but i'm not halfway home so i thought well you know what okay i might well just carry on walking home right guys well von vega um thank you for subbing to this absolute quality stream <laughs> i 
this sure is stream <laughs> at this point. I don't. I I just wanted to know what was going on. I didn't realize that he had his own vlog channel. Maybe we should take a peek into the rest of the videos if there's anything interesting. But hey, Bon Vega, fresh sub, which means everyone they need fresh beans. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. He's the guy who tweets about taking a shit. He does seem to want to let everyone know what's going on at any given time, doesn't he? It's Big Lee. What do we got? I hate this. Horrible and nice. Christmas Eve. What a great birthday. My Vlogmas. Two days and one. Finally had it. I cannot believe it. Yeah, it's just a regular old vlog. He just kind of talks about his life. Yeah. This is incredible. <laughs> this banner is amazing. Epic gamer. I guess like the funny thing is he's like, I am epic gamer. And then he's just doing things. Time to change. Oh, a new intro. Okay. Reviews? Wait a minute, it says he does reviews? Reviews of what? Good uh oh, morning. are we gonna- Oh, okay. Uh, I was worried we were gonna get audio- Oh god, we might have gotten audio jungle guys, there. Guys, and it is the morning. Today, I am on my way to the opticians to get my new glasses. Yes, I started off the vlog a bit different. You know, and I-, I A just bit different. Explained all this before, but yeah, so just thought I'd just let you know that I'm walking killer at the moment. And okay. Well, I I I guess cool. <laughs> Things public domain music. There there is a copyright claim on the video. Oh, but it's on the YouTube audio library, so maybe it's okay. Well, I mean. That's his channel. Maybe one day we'll return to Kay's cooking. Um, because we saw, like, what, eight videos of hers? I was not expecting the emotional roller coaster that I got looking at Kay's cooking. What, we- the- she chopped her finger off. Um, she fed rotten and molding, um, bell pepper to her son. Um... She managed to pour soy sauce onto chicken and then subsequently pour it off of the chicken. <laughs> she managed to add cheese onto like a, f a quarter of one of her dishes. It was, it, we had oil baths. Uh, she left the stove, like, you know, you guys, you know when you leave the house Sometimes you wonder, oh god, did I leave the stove on? Oh no. This woman accidentally leaves the stove on while she's still in the room and the oil is bubbling and sizzling. You would, Usually it's after you leave the house and you're not sure. It's, it, yeah, people are saying that Kay is authentic, and, and I mentioned, right, she does everything in one take, and that, I think, helps the authenticity. Kay is this beautiful, strange little corner of the internet that I appreciate exists. Well, hey, everyone, we're coming to the end of the stream. And that means it's art time. Shall we begin? There. Let's see. We sometimes sometimes we get overwhelmed with art, and I'm not complaining about that. So I never know how much time. Sometimes we run like 45 minutes over. 
<laughs> so there may still be a bit of stream left. The first one we have is from Starry Feathers. Do do do. Uh, do I need to be on the right side? I think I need to be on the right side. Yeah, here we go. Check it. Star <laughs> Starry Feathers has hair swoop swish, whatever it's called. It's basically like Michael Mice's ears or something iconic. A platypus? Frederick Newtson the platypus? <laughs> right, because I said that anything with my hair swoop, just people go, wait, is that Frederick Newtson? <laughs> Bonus, box it. A rock. It's not a rock. It's Frederick. <laughs> Here we go. We have the close-ups. It's like an... It's an it was an in-between stream sketch page. Detroit become bean. <laughs> Freddy song. Is it just a bunch of things with my hair? Even Lauren doesn't have my hair. <laughs> it's, Lo, Fred is Lauren is Fred mail or something <laughs> right because i got to drive the mail truck okay i actually i was at first i was kind of sad that um i didn't get to drive the mail truck more but the dude barely made it off of the mountain because he had less than a gallon of fuel when he pulled up into the um when he pulled up to the gas station thank you starry feathers <laughs> Calling me out. Oh, hey! And Shala has managed to complete the rough draft of her animation. Oh my god, there's there's so much going on here already. You guys, I'm I'm nervous. Let me let me move myself a little bit off to the side. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. We have a down the cum hole with jabroni Mike with a unibrow. <laughs> and does her shirt say Misailon Ramp? There's so much going on, and then there's fucking crypto with darts. Stop touching my feet. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Don't do it. Ah, damn it. No. <laughs> Uh, so cursed. Don't, don't, don't touch my, don't, don't fucking touch my toes. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Shala. Fucking, don't touch my fucking feet. No, stop it. God damn, no, you got fucking stop. You all are the worst. Actually, literally the worst. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Thank you, I think, Shala. <laughs> oh no. And Sturbear is back with... <laughs> with some quality sketches from the stream. We're, we're gonna have to go into some more detail for this one, but they say another one. For Lauren, even as someone from the UK, K is something else. Love the stream. I'm so glad. We have... Come. Come. <laughs> and then we have... Hold on. We have, we have more. We have... Lasagne. <laughs> Good. Now listen, Gordon Ramsay, I'ma let you finish. But Kay has the best cooking of all time. Of all time. <laughs> Here we see the Newtson Owl in his home, casually watching crimes against cooking with a collective called Chat. Does he understand what he is doing? Is this some kind of ritual we may never know as outsiders? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I, 
I have sometimes wondered if someone were to actually bring cameras into into my living space and recorded what I do on the daily, how depressing would it be? It's like reading, sippy, and work, and gaming, and <laughs> I'm very mundane, okay? Stir bear, this is fantastic. And, oh no. Some Teflon, sir. <laughs> Just grind it up and put it into my yay. <laughs> this shouldn't be so funny to me. Why is it so funny? <laughs> Some Teflon on your yay. And and then dumb furry who mostly draws buff cats attempts Ika Pika's lore. <laughs> I I was amazed how quickly people jumped on the what the cat fuck yeah it was Steer Bear that jumped on the cat fucker three thousand I think it was <laughs> just immediately. And hey, the continuation of the cat fucker extended universe. Calm. Hold on, I still have it open. Now I watched when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say with a voice like thunder, Calm! <laughs> Wait. Uh... <laughs> He's having a good time. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sturbear, for this. Absolute quality. I think you are aware already, but you will affect the Eve meta just by releasing the video. Yeah, no, I'm aware of this. I... <laughs> Although, I, I don't know, historically I haven't had that much of an impact on the things I have covered. Um, but we'll see. We will see. And Starry Feathers back again with um, a very active sketch page. Starry Feathers, you're like one of the MVPs of these streams. I hope you know that. Because these are all so good. Yep, cooking with K. Hi, people. <laughs> Ingle, we don't we don't say this word around here. <laughs> Scam train, choo choo. I I love all of these. Uh, here's an oofa doofa, 100% British term. 100% British term. Yes, I. You put yes on the end, and I immediately read it like a skaven. 100% British term. Yes, yes. Disgusting cooking man thing. Man thing thing. There, scoot a little bit. Avatar of Chaos, yeah. I'm well on my way to becoming a Chaos spawn. I'm a night owl. Yeah, <laughs> I am, okay? And then I'm like up in the morning, I'm just like, uh, it's fucking raw. <laughs> we, uh, I, I want to show this to Mike. I will absolutely show this to Mike. When he joins the stream. Crimes against Italy. The Bailey school kids. Owls don't wear hats. Yeah, right. The Bailey school kids. Oh my god. <laughs> this face. Holy shit. This face is incredible. We could break Vinny. <laughs> we oh wait, no, that's the help page. We could break him. Destroy him. <laughs> Give cats tea. Yeah, I'm I'm so excited for that. That that game is going to be so cute. Then <laughs> the f Oh my god, the <laughs> Long Lauren. <laughs> It could come now. N now. No. Now. Now. <laughs> Blue beaning. <laughs> it's when you starve the clitoris of oxygen. 
<laughs> so quintessentially British. So... <laughs> <laughs> I love the way that you depict chat, by the way. The, 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 your little chat creatures are so lovely. Then, 200% Fred game. Yeah, giving cats tea. It makes me happy. Then, <laughs> the pizza. Kill me. I can do eggs. Oh my god, fucking stop. God damn it, Starry. You don't... Don't feed into this. Don't start this. Aw. But, like, how could you do this? You have, like, I can do eggs. And then and then you have, like, the preciousness of, of the petting Lauren. Ooh. Always rub your bird. <laughs> the, the kindest interpretation of that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Grease, bidaka, bidakin. <laughs> Extra hot, God, stop. <laughs> oh, we have some stuff for last stream. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Bored Lizzie gifted you a tier one sub. <laughs> Beamed into the bonus bean room, just getting abs. Chuck your starry feathers into the bonus bean room. Just fucking do it. Hey, and we have another person willingly joining the bonus bean room. Why you would do that, I don't know. But hey, they've been subbed for three months. So they are just absolutely covered in beans. Everyone, can we welcome them back in? Oh, shoot. I, mis I misread that. They subbed for three months. Three months worth of subbing in advance. That's what happened. No, this is a fresh sub. Like, you guys, we need to pile three months worth of beans on them. Let's go. It looks like it's like Thank you for the assistance, everyone. God getting pulled into the bonus bean room. And of course, come. Come reminds me of Jesus. Okay, I'm not, I'm not ever going to do that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that's about it. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. This has been a chill, a pretty chill stream, I think. Oh, God, I hate that. Chill stream. I, I don't know. I, I feel like the chill stream come hang out is just... Uh, it almost feels tacky at this point to me. I don't I don't I totally am not like I would I wouldn't do it myself um, if, if, if you want to you no, know, if you do that it's chill I Just <laughs> I want to be doing something on stream, right? I want something for you guys, especially because I have like only three hour long streams I Can see someone doing that for like uh, for a, a much longer stream like Mike does Cognito hazard stream. Yeah. Hey, I I did not forget the um, the Paul stretched froggy song. Oh, and Rising Pressure has uh, has a bit of fan art before we're done. Okay. Let me just plug that in. Bonk. Please. Did I wait? Did I just break it? Hold on. It's not loading. Oh, wait, what? It It's not working. Ruh-roh, Raggy. Let me do another copy-paste. You sure you got it right? It's actually, no, it's like, it starts to load and then it just doesn't. What if I reset the zoom? I, yeah, I just broke everything forever. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cute. Check this out. Mm? <laughs> Walk up. Concern and then run away. <laughs> that is that is so cute. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rising Pressure. <laughs> Glad I caught it before we finished for today. <laughs> Add to emotes? Maybe. The combos are quality. Well, hey, that's where we're going to call it today. I believe that Limes is still streaming. Yes. Limes is streaming Kirby and the Four Gore. Perfect. Let's go give Limes some love. And thank you everyone for joining, for cooking with Kay and stomaching this with me, literally. <laughs> Goodbye. It's It has been a pleasure. Um, these streams are always a pleasure. Oh, what's our message? Uh, ooh, yeah, good, good point, good point. Oh, Eltraz, before we go. Eltraz, thank you so much for the fresh sub, and hey. It looks like you get to visit the bonus oh. bean room. <laughs> Glad you could finally catch a stream. And again, thank you so much for the sub. Let's see, stream message. Um, oh, I know what it's going to be. I'm going to put it in chat. Eat Teflon. Eat Teflon. That's going to be our raid message. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you on Thursday. Wow, that text is not in the right place. There. Bye, everyone. <laughs>